Hi, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Jira to run the daily scrum. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, drop a like if you like this video, and if you have any questions about anything that I talk about in this video, please let me know in the comments section below. Let's jump into Jira. Okay, so here we are back in Jira. And if you haven't already, I do have a video about how to plan the perfect sprint. You want to check that video out first because I go over the key critical things to kind of get to this step. So if you are at the very beginning where you're still trying to plan out your backlog or you're trying to plan out a sprint and you're just trying to, you, you haven't gotten to an active sprint yet, you want to go and check out that video. We'll link it up here or it'll be in the description or just go back and look through all my other videos because I have some great content on there. But it's called entitled How to Plan the Perfect Sprint. This video here, I'm going to be using the active sprint to show you how to use the tool during your daily scrums. So when you're in your daily scrum, every morning, your daily stand up, whatever you want to call it, it's traditional for people to just walk into the room and everybody kind of just says what they did yesterday, what they're doing today, and any impediments. This is great. You don't need Jira to help you do your daily scrum. In fact, most of the daily scrums that I participated in don't use Jira. But there is a problem that typically I've observed as a scrum master that arises when you don't use the tool. And so today I want to show you how I use the tool to keep the team accountable. So here you can see that we have a typical team. Um, everything's in to-do. So I'm just going to move a couple things to in progress just so that you can kind of see what these things, uh, like a more actual representation of, of people working. Okay. And so my first tip when using Jira to help you run your daily scrum is as each person speaks, you want to click on their little bubble so that you can highlight just the work that they're working on. This is really critical because it if you have a large team or if your team's working on a lot of stuff, it might get confusing to kind of catch where the conversation's at at the daily scrum. And since you only have 15 minutes to do all of this, you want to very quickly find the issues that people are talking about. And this brings me to why this is important. When I have my team member talking about building a CI infrastructure and they're talking about how they've already set up this and that and the other and it's going great and things are, they're making good progress, but Jira's telling me that the status is still in to do, we have ourselves a situation where our developers aren't updating Jira. And that's probably one of my biggest pet peeves here is that when your team isn't updating Jira, you only have the information that you have, which is not up to date. So you want to leverage Jira to kind of help motivate them, to get them into the behavior, into the habit of updating their Jira statuses as they actually make progress. And this is even more important when they're leveraging Jira to create PRs and they're, and they're embedding the, the ticket from Jira into their PR. And now we can kind of keep things in sync. Now, there is some automation that we can build that I will definitely be doing future videos on with respect to when a developer creates a branch and, and integrates it into the ticket, we can automatically have Jira move the issue to in progress when the PR is merged. We can have the ticket be moved into done or something like that. So there's definitely some automations we can do to help facilitate. But for the most part, one of the biggest problems that I find is just developers not updating their statuses. Now, the reason number two why it's good for you to use Jira to help guide you with your conversations is, let's assume this is me, right? And I, I'm supposed to be building a server. I have an issue that's in progress and it's my turn to update my status. Now, a common scenario that I typically find is I will actually go and start talking about how I went and procured a whole new computer system and I got a new computer system for a new graphics thing that we're doing, a new mining rig or something. And I'm over here talking about this amazing thing and how I needed help. And so I went and shoulder tapped a couple of my coworkers. We all got together in my desk and we had an impediment, but they helped me get through that impediment. And so after a couple of hours, between my me and my two coworkers, we were able to basically solve the problem. 
The problem here is I'm supposed to be working on building a server, not a mining rig. And so while I, as a developer or, or your developers in general, will sound like they're busy and that they're doing work, one of the things you want to catch as that Scrum Master is, is the work they're working on relevant? Right? Is it relevant to what they're actually assigned to do in the sprint? Because what I've seen over my last nine years of doing this is that developers, they, they like to be creative and they like to be busy and they like to work on cool things. Sometimes the stuff that's assigned to them in Jira isn't their type of cool. So they're going to go off, they're going to solve problems, they're going to go fix some bugs, they're going to be doing the things that interest them. And sometimes it's at the sacrifice of what is actually supposed to be done in the sprint. So if you don't visualize, if you don't pull up Jira to see and say, hey, Alex, you're supposed to be working on a server, not whatever it is, a couple of things are going to happen. Either one, they're going to go, oh, sorry, I didn't realize I forgot. Or B, they're going to say, oh, I finished that one and I moved on to the other one. And then we're back to again to problem one where they're just not updating Jira or Worse yet, they're working on other stuff that they're not even supposed to be working on. But it, it makes it really challenging as a Scrum Master to make these catches to understand or to at least visualize whether your developer's working on what they're supposed to do or not when you don't use the tool to validate what they're saying. The, you want to leverage the tool to keep them accountable to what they're actually supposed to be doing so that they can meet their commitments. Otherwise, if you just rely on them talking about what they're doing, and just providing their standard daily, here's what I did yesterday, here's what I'm working on today, and here's my blockers, you you might run into the situation where work isn't moving across your backlog, it's not moving across the statuses, because even though every day they're providing a status, they're just not providing the statuses to the work that they're actually supposed to be working on. So this, those are my two reasons why I'm leveraging Jira. And as a little added bonus, one of the other discoveries that you make is in the example of I pulled in a couple of coworkers, what I've also seen is people or developers will go off and work on fixing some amazing bug or developing some new feature that is totally unsolicited, right? That's not part of the plan, but it's something that they are like, hey, I wanna go do this, which is great. There's, I'm all about autonomy, as long as you get your commitments done, right? As long as you fulfill your first duty, go crazy if you have free time. But first, as a developer, you have a commitment to finishing the stuff that was assigned to you in your sprint. And if at any point you have an impediment or a blocker or you're just waiting on something, the developer has a responsibility to help let the Scrum Master know and vice versa. The Scrum Master has a responsibility to go and investigate, to go find out why is this issue still stuck, right? And so you want to go and help unblock and be able to make that progress. And it's just harder to do when you're just talking, right? When you're just relying on the English language to communicate these issues. And this is why I'm making this video so that you can leverage Jira, leverage the tool that you're in to go, ah, okay, so we got a problem here. Let's go figure out, let's go see who we need to talk to. More times than not, a simple email or some simple assumption is what's blocking progress. And as a Scrum Master, if you ask these probing questions, you're gonna be able to move things right along and be able to really, really help get your team some traction so that they can actually meet their commitments. And that's pretty much it. This is all I wanna do for this video and just really talk about these two ways that I use the Jira board itself during my daily scrums as a scrum master to help make sure that my team is being accountable and that my team is actually delivering on their commitments. If you really like this video, please make sure you drop a like. If you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button as well. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and every little subscription will greatly help me. And if you have any questions or comments, what, what are you doing to run your daily scrum? And uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to converse and see what else we can do and learn from each other. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.